the thing is i don't even understand what this is this meme has been out and like omega viral for months now and i still don't know what this means tiktok f boy final boss Hey, we added a sixth show due to overwhelming demand. It's gonna be the best weekend ever, so make sure you get your tickets before they sell out. Okay, enjoy the video. Folks, I've talked about many men in my career, whether it's e-boys or soft boys or alpha males. I feel like they all sort of fall under the same F-boy umbrella. And much like an umbrella, they are also stopping people from getting wet. And all these F-boy adjacent guys are pretty wild in their own little fun ways. But I think I may have found the F-boy final boss. The fellow we're gonna talk about today is a creator named Garrett Nolan. First off, I gotta show respect. He's got two first names, just like me, Garrett Nolan. Those are just two guys. Same as Curtis Connor. Those are just two guys. Garrett has had some pretty viral TikToks over this past year. And every time I see one of his videos, I get like really uncomfortable. And you know, misery loves company. So I figured I'd show them to you and we'd talk about them today. So this guy does a lot of like acting POVs. It will dance our socks off. <laughs> thirst traps, little comedy sketches. You know, he does it all. But there's just something about his videos, man. He's like every F boy smushed into. His best one is, I think the one that he did where he was like girls that, I mean, uh, boys that were mama's girls and boys that are papa's boys or something. I'm fucking it up. The one, dude. He kind of reminds me of that scene in Fellowship of the Ring in the caverns of Isengard. All the little orcs are digging out the big, huge, like, bad guy orc out of the dirty, like, muddy goo. And this orc is like the amalgamation. Why do I know this? It's all over my IG reels. And also, I follow cringe TikToks, um, as you guys know. Uh, what was it? The friend of the show's, uh, friend of the show's account. Was it 420 funny memes or whatever? I forget what it's called. 420 cringe TikToks. Nation of all the other little fave TikToks 420. Orcs mixed into this one super orc. And I think that's what Garrett Nolan is. He's kind of like the big bad final orc of the <coughs> F boys. And before we get into the bulk of this video, please don't go to this person's page, send any hate or anything. That's never what I want to happen with my videos. We're just goofing around here, man. We're just engaging in some buffoonery, some tomfoolery if we're lucky. All right, let's watch one of his TikToks. Sorry, baby. Hey, breathe, breathe. It's okay, love. Remember. We date. It's actually loyalty over love. I'm not leaving over an argument. I'm not leaving because you still have unhealed wounds. I'm not leaving because you messed up. I'm not leaving because you sometimes say the wrong things. We will learn together. I love you so much. I love you too. He listed like way too many things, right? But he had like a whole list of shit that he did not like about his girlfriend. Listen, babe, if we date, it's loyalty over love. I don't love you, but I'm loyal to you. I'm not leaving over an argument. I'm not leaving because your breath smells like a petting zoo when you wake up. I'm not leaving because the size of your feet. Hell, even if I did, you'd probably step on me with your humongous freakish ogre feet. Fuck. I'm not leaving you because of your unibrow or your forehead or your butt chin or your chin butt. Together we'll find a way for me to ignore all of that stuff. I love you so much. I loyal to you too. But yeah, this Garrett guy does a lot of these videos where he'll like make up a relationship scenario where the girl is crying and then he steps in like, shut up, <laughs> it's fine, I'm the solution. Why would you cry when I'm me? <laughs> Here's another one he did. What's wrong? Nothing. Nothing. What's wrong? Nothing supposed to be teardrops? It looks like they put like a spray bottle on her cheek. That's how people cry, right? <laughs> He's killing her. He's, you guys are just watching and saying it's cringe, but he's actually murdering her right now. He's literally fucking killing her with his aura. Bro, what is this, dude? This is the female version of pissing alone, handsome. What the fuck is that? Love, it's okay. It's okay. Okay, I'm here. I'm here. Everything's fine. You're safe. It's wrong. It's just, I just really need you. You have me. 
Yeah, that's cute and all, guys, but you're kind of taking up the whole hallway. It would have been so great if this video ended with a guy just being like, oh, sorry, just let me, uh, let me squeeze past you guys here. Sorry. And you know what? I don't know what it is about me. Maybe I'm getting old. Maybe I'm just a fucking douchebag. But, like, who is this for? What, who is this content for? Because I look through the comments, and literally all of them are people just being really, really sad. Oh, to be loved like this? I want this, but I'm too single. Yeah, I wonder why. Your name is Draco Ron Simps. <laughs> Sorry. I wish someone would treat me like that. It would be nice to find a man like that. Maybe it's the side of TikTok that I'm on, but when I went to the comments, I was baffled, dude. I was like, why is nobody well. on this right now, dude? Everybody in the comments are either sad about their own love life. That is so not the same as this guy. This guy is like very obviously, this guy is very obviously trying to farm like lonely women by being like, listen, babe, listen. At the top of the hour, there's a three-minute ad break, but you're not alone. I'm here for you. If you no longer want to see those ads, all you need to do is subscribe for $5 or for free with a Twitch Prime. That kind of shit. That's what he's doing. He's trying to hit the spicy side of book talk. It's a lucrative grift. Yeah, he's just trying to get the fucking liberal um, nerd women to be quivering. Anyway, who's the Thurman Abrag now? This is why we losing the gay off. Yeah, I mean, I don't. I've already. I've already given up life or just gassing this video up like crazy. Like this guy's comment. Give this guy a Grammy or something. A Grammy? Like, like the music award? Listen, you can like whatever TikToker you want, but I don't think this video is eligible for a Grammy nom, okay? Obviously, the person who commented this confused the Grammys with the Oscars. Or wait, hold on. The person who commented this isn't even a person. That's a car. A legit car left this comment, dude. And it kind of makes sense that a car wouldn't want to associate with the Oscars. Cars was famously snubbed in 2006. And the Oscar goes to... Happy Feet. George Miller. Sorry, we're getting a little off topic here. It's just always super funny when dudes like this, like, make up these scenarios to make themselves look like a super sick guy. I've always wondered this. Why is it that all the dudes who make content about, like, how great of a boyfriend or how great of a husband they would be, they're always single. Isn't that fucking weird? Obviously, I can't 100% confirm that Garrett is single, but I did listen to the worst podcast episode ever recorded. Just saying a lot coming from me. SpongeBob, Patrick, Squidward, Sandy. But the podcast I listened to was by a guy named Peter Vigilante. Fucking killer last name. But here's a little clip from it. If I'm not allowed to like a post, which means you think I'm doing something devious, right? Ooh. That means you can't post a bikini pic. Because now you're posting it for devious reasons. Because if you think that... Yeah. No. Take podcast microphones away from everybody. Honestly, Not let's good. But they going. had Garrett as a guest, and he confirmed that he was a single man. I'm a single male. And that was three months ago. So if I'm wrong, I apologize, but that was the most recent uh, piece of evidence I could find. But it's just so weird that all these dudes were like, I'll be there for you. I'm always there. I'm like the best guy. They never have a girlfriend, ever. <laughs> it's a fucking fresh and fit syndrome. Like if these guys are basing their entire careers off of meeting women, dating women, being attractive to women, why aren't they all fucking married? Or just like in a relationship at the very least, right? Like you think they would have figured it out by now, right? Like that's if a guy was making like video production tutorials that look like this. So the first thing you need is a nice camera like this. And secondly, you need a good microphone to pick up a good quality audio. You know, no pun intended. I don't mean to single out Garrett with that criticism. You know, I don't want to just stoop down to ad hominem attacks, right? But speaking of ad, <laughs> let's hear a word from today's sponsor. This video is sponsored by Opera. I'm on my computer all day, every day. So I need a browser that can keep up with the 30 things I'm doing at once. And that's why I use Opera. And it seems like the guy we're talking about in this video is pretty obsessed with his features. But the only features I'm obsessed with are all the features that opera has to offer like aria by the way um while this is going on i'm gonna fucking find the batman game uh i don't know if i have it in my library already i tried to download the second episode but i don't know what it's called chat what's the second batman called batman season two is it season two is it enemy within I'm downloading it right now. It's Enemy Within, right? 
Oh shit, it's gonna be the Joker. Okay, okay, it's gonna be the Joker. Opera's native browser AI. You can chat with Aria to get quick, clear answers on whatever topic you need assistance with. You can highlight any text online to get a quick explanation, explore the topic further, or get a translation. You can also activate their new page context mode, which allows you to get any page summarized in seconds, and it also allows you to extract specific information and translate any text. There's tons more you can do with Aria as well, but I'd be here yapping for hours about it, so might as well just try it out for yourself. Opera also has a built-in ad blocker, which is absolutely incredible because have you guys tried reading Aria? articles lately it's just ads now i don't i don't know what happened and also loading all those ads slows down your browser performance what the hell and with opera you can get rid of all ethical reacts but fuck opera no disrespect to curtis all disrespect all to ugly, opera annoying ads which is one click for a clean smooth browsing experience and speaking of a clean smooth browsing experience let me tell you about opera's tab islands feature when i'm using opera i'll have tabs open for my main channel videos i'll have tabs open for podcast stuff other tabs open with like word documents and calendars emails etc and that can get overwhelming pretty quickly but with tab islands you can easily organize your tabs for effortless browsing it truly is a game changer so if you want to vastly improve your browsing experience in every way imaginable. Opera didn't scam me. They just used uh, one of their social media people uh, got on the fuck Hassan train so they could like farm impressions. Go to download Opera today for free. You won't regret it, I promise. Okay, thank you so much to Opera for sponsoring this video. Back to me. Okay, guys, let's move on from the relationship POVs for a little bit. Garrett also makes a lot of videos that straight up don't make any sense. <laughs> Guys, I read so many comments trying to figure out what the hell that means. The best explanation I could find is if, like, if someone's hands are shaking uh, before they fight. They're auditioning for a musical. They're giving jazz hands. Uh, I guess it means they're experiencing a lot of adrenaline. And I guess if someone's experiencing a lot of adrenaline, they're fuck they'll just fucking kill you or something. I don't know. But a lot of the comments were just as confused as I was. When my hands were shaking, I thought it was because I was scared. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. Because, like, you probably were also scared, man. It's so funny. People think one thing. They see a video on TikTok that maybe could be another reason. And they're like, oh, okay, got it. That's why. You tell me any information and I'll believe it. Fuck, that's so funny. <laughs> I thought it was terrified, but I guess it was just the adrenaline. And I guess that wasn't piss coming out of my wiener. That was adrenaline juice. Huh. But I think we all know why his hands were actually shaking. The vaccine. <laughs> it's gotta be it. But we've all seen that one video of the girl's legs shaking after she got the vaccine. I'll have what she's having. Thanks a lot, Pfizer. Pfizer, I hardly know her. And you never want to fight a guy who's had the vaccine, because then you're going to catch it. That's why I wear a mask. He makes one joke about Pfizer. He doesn't get a fucking content notice. I make not even a joke, but like whatever I talk about, whenever I talk about Israel, there's like a fucking content notice under my YouTube page for the Holocaust. Okay. As though I'm like a Holocaust denier or some shit. Anyway. Mask everywhere I go, because I don't want to catch the vax. <laughs> Garrett also made another fighting video in this style, so let's check that one out too. This is the classic. This is the one that blew up. That was awesome. So let me break it down. He's saying that uh, guys raised by their dads, they want to stand and fight, but guys raised by their moms, they wear button-up shirts and walk away. I don't know how accurate that is. I feel like dads walk away from shit all the time. In my own life, I've seen at least one dad walk away from a tough situation. <laughs> you know, if we're being realistic here, the kid raised by their dad would actually be the one walking away but then you still see them on weekends and Christmas. I think this is my favorite video of Garrett's though, because before this, nobody was hating. So I was starting to feel like a douchebag thinking that these videos were like a little strange. But this was the video that finally had people being like, you know, what? What are you talking about? Because obviously this isn't true. Some kids who were raised by their moms were fucking dickhead bullies because their mom sucked. And some kids raised by both parents were dickhead bullies because Wait, they, they like, what did they understand on this video that I just don't understand? Because I watched this video and I did not understand what the fuck the message was at all, bro. At all. I don't get it.
because both their parents suck. So it was nice to see people goofing on this video a little bit. And this actually spawned a tiny trend of people like stitching this TikTok. Hilarious, that's great. And I thought this trend was really funny, so I made one myself. And obviously Garrett's content is harmless. Mostly. Some of the content starts getting into some strange territory. Batman is officially downloaded. Hey baby, I'm home. I haven't seen you in a while. It's been five years. Whoa, what the fuck? Three months, 25 days, four hours. What the fuck? He's a stalker. So yeah, it's a video of him breaking into an ex-girlfriend's house and going through all their shit. You know, total stalker mode. AKA, a super crazy thing to do when a huge fucked up crime. And hey, maybe it's just like an acting thing, an acting practice to be like a weird guy. I get it. But like all the comments are eating this up for like the worst reason though. Why does this make me want a stalker boyfriend? Respectfully, you can break into more than just my house. If I had someone this obsessed with me, I'd be so happy. Jesus Christ. Bro, we're not going to see the light of Allah in our, in our lifetime. It's over. It's Joe over. Society has collapsed. Boys, is not happening, okay? If you look at it, you take one peek at TikTok comments and you will personally recognize that shit ain't right, shit is busted, and it will never be fixed, okay? Irreparable harm. Oh, my fucking Lord. Jesus, and Lord, mercy. People are just so fucking desperate, so horny, so, so alone, so isolated. What is happening? It's good that TikTok is getting banned. I'm on board with it now. I'm anti-CCP. Guys, go to therapy. Obviously go to therapy or just go outside. Either one of those, okay? This should not get you all hot and bothered. This should only- Isn't it the same when people thirst over you? Hasanabe ain't a hater? No, it's not the same because when people thirst over me, it's over me like making a fucking uh, thirst post where I'm like, oh, free Palestine or whatever. It's like, it's not me being like, here, here I am breaking into my ex-girlfriend's house and people are like, oh, it's fucking so hot. Oh, yeah. Only get you bothered. If this is attractive to you, someone breaking into your fucking house, you're weird. That's weird. And before you comment, hey, hey don't kink shame, I'm not. Okay? Because that isn't a kink. That's a crime. But in a kink, it's a crime. This is like a gnarly, life-ruining crime, okay? I don't think that should be a, a kink. Your Honor, we have unrefutable evidence that this man murdered his ex-girlfriend. A truly heinous act. All right. Objection, your honor. No kink shaming. What do you mean kink shame? It's literally murder. No, he's right. Okay, I will not tolerate any kink shaming in my court. You gotta be fucking kidding me. This is bullshit. What's going on? <clears throat> Sorry, getting yelled at is my kink. Oh my God, what kind of judge are you? A bad one, you should fucking spank me. And all the other comments on this stalking video were a reference to a community on TikTok called Book Talk. It was flooded with comments like, Book Talk, y'all here? And uh, Garrett threw a heart on that one. Book Talk is gonna go feral. Book Talk girlies assemble. Ugh, Book Talk has ruined me. And I foolishly thought, What the fuck is Book Talk? Is it mentally unwell women getting together and hoping that they get stalked? What is this? Book Talk was just a community on TikTok where people talk about the books they like. And that is true to an extent, but I found out Book Talk is mostly just straight up smut. Oh no! It's a vast community of probably the horniest people on the planet. And whenever there's like a guy with tattoos and long hair and like a deep voice and muscles, all the fucking comments on the videos are like, Oh, Book Talk's here. Book Talk has been summoned. If Book Talk wants more of this, Book Talk can have more of this. Ah! And hey man, I'm all- ah! It's like, it's the most, oh God. It's the most, I want to make millennial moms horny ass shit. Oh God. Book talk is 50% of your audience. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. 
all for people getting their rocks off, especially to just words on paper. That's hilarious. Reading a sentence and then getting a boner about it is genuinely one of the funniest mm. things of all time. <laughs> Dude, getting turned on by literature, are you kidding me? Whenever they read an essay, they're like, damn, look at that body. Sorry, book talk as a whole is a topic for another video, I think. But Garrett plays into this typical book talk character a lot. You know, he's got the tattoos, the muscles. He's handsome. Okay, I'll say it, he's handsome. He's a good looking guy. And he shows all of that off in his various thirst trap videos. Sorry, he's walking towards me with a hammer. I got scared. Is that why construction always takes so long? Dudes are on the side of the road just thirst trapping all day. Those hats used to be soft, if you know what I mean. Yeah, he's got a lot of thirst trap videos on his account. And hey, man, that's your wiener. Okay, got it. <laughs> Jeez, that's your entire wiener right there. Hello. Uh, that's fucking gnarly, dude. I mean, at the very least, his videos are like the true lesbian test. Like, if you're unsure if you're a lesbian or not, I can just scroll through this guy's page. Like, fucking jeez, man. <laughs> Flashing full meat on main. This is gonna sound rich from a commentary YouTuber, but like, what are you doing, dude? Men used to go to war. Never mind, he's still doing it. He's left-handed. He's still going to war. Damn, give this guy a Grammy. So that video is pretty impressive, but like, dude, it is so uh, I'm gonna be the rap fam, and you're... Dude, worst part about having a longer mustache is, uh, it just keeps getting in my mouth. Uh, I'm gonna be the rap fam in your chat and say the more misogynist the population is, the more women have fantasies about dubious consent and is an escapist fantasy so women don't have to be culpable of what happens during sex, i.e. an excuse to have sex without shame. I just, I don't know. I don't, I don't know how to respond to that. I don't know. Super fucking funny to put on like a bulletproof vest and look all super tough and stuff and flex your guns while the gun is making like the cutest noise ever. Say hello to my little friend. <laughs> the TikTok F boy genre has always been like really fascinating. Typical Canadian doesn't understand this, that ping is actually a successful hit on a fucking tin target. Okay to me because how I else are you gonna know how else are you gonna know that he's successfully hitting a fucking steel target i think the most intriguing thing about them is like their journey to become one right because they're not born they're made just a few years ago garrett yeah uh, i'm willing to bet that like those are edited in though i, I don't know if he actually hit that wasn't doing this style of content at all. He actually used to brand himself as Garrett with Ivan the Cat. And he would make videos like this. Time to go to sleep, okay, buddy? I wanna see your cheeks glow. Oh! Oh my oh. god! Yeah, I'm actually really glad he stopped doing this kind of content. Dude, honestly. Honestly, dude. I'm not even going to say it. You know what I'm going to say, and I'm not going to say it. Because all I will say is half of the chat now aligns with him even more than they did before. Just average cat owner. I said it. I was just a typical what cat owner, dude. What the fuck, man? This poor cat, man. What the hell? I feel like even a serial killer would be like, yo, he's up on the cat, man. You're fucking being a little too rough on him. Like, dude, he has a full My Cat Bites Me When I Sing Mega Mix on his channel that's a half hour long. Uh -huh. And first off, if you're watching a full half hour of the same fucking annoying bit over and over again, you're cooked. Sorry to break it to you, you're absolutely cooked. You're done. And secondly, I don't think your cat bites you when you sing. I think your cat is biting you because you're holding on to it and won't let it go when it's clearly telling you that it wants to be let go. And dude, all the comments are like, oh my god, it's so funny. And it's like, hey, no, it's not. <laughs> like, not even a little bit. It's not fun. It's fuck. It's just bad pet ownership. Like, what a fucking rebrand that was, eh? Yeah, I used to hold my cat hostage. Now I scream it's funny to compare like the the current garrett to the old garrett with ivan the cat because now 
his whole shtick is like being attractive to women and stuff, but like treating an animal like this is like the biggest possible red flag, I think, right? Yeah, I guess I'm not like those other tall, handsome, buff, tattooed men. I'm also sensitive. I'm attentive and I'm gentle too. <laughs> Sorry, it's, it's my cat. <laughs> One second. Hi. <laughs> So, you ever heard of Book Talk? I'm going to show those you videos exactly are old. I'm sure are he's moved on from them. I'm glad he doesn't do them anymore. But just a piece of advice. Like, you're kind of ruining your whole every girl wants me bit. If you have a half hour video on your YouTube channel of you mishandling pussy. Uh, yeah! In conclusion, I think I was goofing on his content pretty hard. Maybe a little too hard. But comparing it to his old cat hostage videos his new content is fucking awesome dude so you know what garrett keep it up all right guys that's it hope you guys enjoyed this quick silly little video i've got some longer videos coming up in the near future i'm very excited for but i wanted to goof around a little if that's okay if you guys like the video please press the like button because believe it or not one like equals one cat i will rescue from singing men and leave a comment or i'm gonna start screaming also please press the subscribe button we are so close to five million let's get it what are you waiting for press the damn button because as soon as you press the subscribe button you become a valued citizen of curtis town if you didn't know curtis town is the best place to live in the world and i'm the mayor of curtis town so you have to be nice to me it's the law you can check the description for tickets to my irvine shows coming up they're selling out so you better freaking grab tickets okay don't sleep okay thank you so much for watching i would stick around but unfortunately i have to go because my hands are shaking i need to go to the doctor bye bye Oh, she's so heavy.